is chilly. A whopping 34, 35 degrees. Got their own Afco Hydronaut bibs on. But we are here, finally. Current time, 6.44. Time to actually see if this kayak floats and actually works. It's a, yeah, it's a chilly morning. High today is supposed to be like 46, something like that. Imagine water temp is gonna be pretty cold, low 40s I'd imagine. Really, today's a test day, but we're gonna try to catch some fish. If the bass don't wanna cooperate, we're gonna go chase some trout probably. Got some gas masters, so we'll give that a shot. But, as always, got the GoPro ready to go. Let's get on the water and see if we can catch some fish. switch something up I ran a different Nemia 2000 cord to this graph and since I don't have my active target yet I'm gonna use this graph for mapping today is a lot of fine-tuning fine-tune a whole bunch of stuff make sure the graphs work good let's see if this motor works oh boy we got a motor. I like it. Oh, this is a game changer. But yeah, y'all, we are on the home lake. I haven't been here almost a year. I think I did one trip here last year. So it looks like the water is pretty stained. A lot of snow recently just came down and it's been raining a whole bunch in Oregon, so thinking we're gonna have to use some bright colors or some bold like black and blue I'm gonna check out a few spots and uh, see what we can do this is a no wake area so luckily this kayak doesn't make a lot of waves oh this is a game changer might have to move that later Surf and jig. Now I'm probably going to have to start throwing some spinning gear eventually, but I would like the first cast of the year to not be spinning gear. Please be a bass, won't be a trout. Smalley. <laughs> Got him. First bass of 2023 on the old Ned. It is bound to happen. There we go. Not a big one by any means, but big TRD gets it done. Figure since the water's a little dirty, copper truce gets it done. First bass of 2023. It'd be a little hard to see. You see these black dots? A lot of the fish in here have them. Look how pale it is. Wow. Thought I saw some fish on the graph. For the heck of it. Let's see. 
just for fun. Not doing any tournaments, but might as well get some practice in. 16 and a quarter. There we go. All right, y'all. First bass of 2023. <laughs> Can't believe it. Didn't take too long on the Ned rig. Take it any day. Low, almost two pounder. Time to let her go. See ya. I thought I saw some fish on the graph. Ooh. Suddenly it isn't cold anymore. Catch first fish. I like it. 43 degree water temp. Brr. Air temp is probably mid to high 30s. It is cold out here. But mission accomplished. Caught our first fish. 2023. First trip. Oh, that makes me happy. And it wasn't a total rat either, which is nice. And I mean, that thing was literally under the boat. It didn't take long. A little less than an hour for the first bite. Simple stuff. Main Lake Point early in the year. Smallies are moving up. About time. I caught one. I caught one. Yeah, one smallie. You actually came at the perfect time. It was a little windy this morning. It was actually pretty chilly. Have I ever told you how much I hate fishing in gloves? I hate it. A couple castles drop shot and we'll go. We'll move. another one bit it and dropped it because I was dragging I felt the bite and then he probably felt me pulling on him he's like why am I getting pulled right now I'll tell you what when you get bit you feel it all right This is my turning radius, full lock left. It's not good. Right, non-existent. Get out of here. <laughs> Dude, no waves. Dude, even, even when I went full blast, there was like no waves. It's uh, like I was, go I was going five miles an hour and there was like no waves. I said, I'll definitely spear some waves because the bow rides so low. Did I get it? Dude, giant, giant. Look at that fish. Good thing I threw this in the kayak.
All right, y'all. Quick update. 9:43. Nothing. Nothing besides that one fish, and I had another bite. Checking out some other stuff. Highly doubt they're gonna be back here, just because it's a lot colder back here. Got a creek coming in, so a lot of snow melt off. But worth a shot. I didn't pull this kayak on the boat launch. I just tied it off to the dock. There we go. Oh, I just lost it. You see my line take off? Ah, got him. Took my fish, bro. It's a good one, huh? I can see your rod bend. Smally, dude. That's a three. Got him. That was the fish I freaking just hooked into, dude. <laughs> dude, that was my fish. <laughs> he literally just bit me. <laughs> On the board. Seventeen. Yeah, dude, literally that was my fish. <laughs> it literally just bit me. <laughs> dude, they don't move, man. It's too cold. You just brought them up 40 feet. Hold on. Let's see if I can throw the Ned jig down there. I don't know if I can. <laughs> oh, I just broke the hook off. That's cool. Fifty-three. Not looking so good. I figured the water temp warmed up, this fish would get going. Fortunately, that spot that I caught my first fish, there's people fishing on the bank, so maybe I'll go back over there later, and hopefully they're gone. Really, just trying to run some main lake points. Figure they'd be staging on these. Maybe not. Still a nice day though. Can't complain. Catching a fish was just a bonus with 42 degree water temp this morning. Well, y'all, that's going to be a wrap for today. Give us a solid six hours. It's starting to rain again, so we're going to get on out of here. Well, y'all, back at home, trailer and the kayak. Did his first brown trip and made it back in one piece. One thing that I uh, did notice though is that my truck kicks up a bunch of dirt and everything's dirty. I mean, just covered in dirt. So, I don't know. Maybe it might get a cover for the kayak. Maybe it might get some rock tamers or something to put behind my truck so that it doesn't kick up as much stuff. Definitely don't like it this dirty, but oh well. But yeah, as you saw, fishing was tough. I mean, 42 degree water temps to start off in the morning. Stained water, not a great combination. I kind of had a feeling that, you know, this Ned rig was going to work out. I mean, yeah, and just a Z-Man, big TRD. I figured with that dirty water, Copper Truce was going to come at key right there. You know, a lot of people like to use black and blue, and I do too, but something about that copper truce just really stands out, especially with smallmouth. I figured today I was gonna really target that smallmouth, and well, at least we got one. Had three bites all day, which is not good, but for the water temp, I'll take it. Wanted to give you a walkthrough of the setup. So it was a G Loomis IMX Pro Ned Rig Rod, dedicated rod for this. I like to throw tubes on this rod as well. It just has the perfect amount of backbone, but the key part about this, is the bend and the tip 
has a nice bend so that you can really fight those fish, let them dig, and let the rod do the work, basically. Paired it up with a Shimano Vanford 2500, Power Pro Super 8 Slick V2, and Moonshine. This is 15 pound, I love the Moonshine. It might have been hard to see in the video, but a couple times I did see my line take off, and that's why I like that high-vis line. Eight pound Seaguar and Vezix fluorocarbon, pretty much my standard. And yeah, that's pretty much the setup. Paired up with that Ned Rig is a Z-Man Shrooms Head. I like it for fishing that deeper water. Honestly, I just hate waiting for the bait to hit the bottom. And this is something where you're literally just dragging slow on the bottom. So you want to have as much contact as possible. You don't want it to lift off the ground. So yeah, pretty much the setup for that. But yeah, I mean, honestly, successful day. I had to make sure that everything was working in the kayak and of course the trailer as well. We did catch a fish and get the first one off the bat for the season. I'm just happy that we didn't skunk. But yeah, that's gonna be it for today. Appreciate y'all for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.